Blondell Marva. I got out the big Humphreys to play around. We got a rack of baby back ribs going on. We got a couple little baby chickens. And we got a little piece of beef. Let's see how this thing cooks, folks. All right, well, she's up to temp. Let me go ahead and pull out this rack. I got this rack of baby back ribs, nothing special. Just season them up. Everybody seasons their ribs a little bit different. It's just your basic barbecue seasonings on there. I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in. Well, since today's Sunday on Del Mar was more about seeing how the Humphreys Battle Box runs, and you know that we already got a rack of ribs out there, and we just season them up with our basic barbecue seasonings like everybody would season up a rack of ribs. Today I found this at the store. It's called the Shed's Barbecue and Blues Joint Foul Play. So it's obviously a poultry seasoning or marinade. I, I see that these guys are on Facebook and all that stuff too. You know, check them out. I got three three pound chickens that were about three dollars a piece. I'm going to go ahead and Lay some of this on there. We also got the beef blaster. We may not try that today, but we'll try it in the future. That might be good on a London broil or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and kind of rub this marinade around on these chickens. Now again, these are just little baby chickens. They were around three bucks a piece. And it's more about trying something new and seeing how this big smoker runs which so far so good with that barbecue guru set up on there and all that she's running just right I got her set at 275 which I think is a perfect temperature for everything I want to put in it and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little seasoned salt on these chickens And I'm just going to season them up, you know, my normal chicken seasoning method. And we'll have a look at the ribs and put these on the smoker in just a minute. You can cut it. Well, guys, she's been at 275 with the Guru blowing for about two hours now. She's been burning for about three. It took about an hour for it to get to 275 from filling it with charcoal and lighting it. 275 and ready to cook. Uh, the firebox, let's have a look, hardly has any burnt charcoal and I put two fire bricks halfway in the firebox because I was only planning to cook for four, four and a half hours today and this is the first time we've ever cooked with it. I wasn't going to run the Guru and the Guru came with it of course but in order to take the Guru adapter off you need a big pipe wrench and I didn't feel like getting all the tools together and all that stuff to get the thing running. So I just hooked a guru up to it. We're about ready to put our chickens on. Our ribs have been going for at least an hour and a half, maybe two hours, closer to two hours. We're gonna spritz them. We're gonna put some chickens on the lower rack. We're gonna go get our beef ready. All right, guys, our ribs have been going. For at least an hour and a half, hour, we're gonna give them a spritz. We're going to wrap them up in about another 45 minutes to an hour. As you can see, they look really good. I'm going to go ahead and add a rack to the very bottom. For my chickens, I will say a guy on the Humphreys Facebook page said that he needed to go to AutoZone and get one of the big huge cookie sheets they sell to put under a car in case it if it leaks oil. So when you have these racks out and you're putting stuff on it like this, it doesn't drip on the ground. That seems like a pretty good idea to me. But that's alright for today. Here's the last piece of our puzzle, or two pieces really. We got some sweet corn wrapped up with a little 
salt, pepper, and butter in the foil. We're going to stick that on the Humphreys after a while. This is a piece of sirloin tip already wrapped up from our local butcher. I'm not even going to trim it or anything. We're just going to hit it with a little soy sauce. Spin it around with my tongue so I don't even get my hands dirty. This is just some steak rub. The grill mates, McCormick's grill mates steak rub. Something a little different. We don't use it very often. But again, today's cook's more about just trying out that. Humphreys Battle Box, which it's going on an hour since last time we were out there. It's still just sitting beautiful. Salt and pepper mixed in a milk. The same local grocery store that we got this piece of beef at and those $3 chickens, G&E Hawkers, makes their own seasonings. This is one of them. I like this because there it is. Your salt and pepper right in the grinder. Boom. Four bucks or so. No, I like to use the pink, pink Himalayan once in a while. And of course, we always have a pepper shaker, a regular table salt and pepper. But that grind like that's convenient. This is the steak and chop that we always use. I think we're going to go stick that on the cooker. I'm going to give these ribs a wrap, I think. Have a look at what's going on. Chickens are looking great. Ribs are perfect. So, in my foil, I got just a little bit of butter and brown sugar. And just basic standard stuff. Just gonna wrap them up real quick. Stick them there. Go ahead and grab my sirloin tip. Now normally I would hook my thermal works or something up to that, but I'm just going to let it go today. And I'll check it with my handheld instead of hooking the smoke up to it. That would be the one downfall I see at a Humphrey so far is there's no place to put probes into it. Through the chimney maybe, but shutting them in the door sucks. Guys, I bought this cooker used off Facebook Marketplace. We drove way up to New Jersey and I mean it was like five hours each way to go get this thing. This is uh, you know a competition style cooker and I was hoping to use it for catering maybe roadside sales. As you can see it's an insulated box. It is a little warm on the side there but not so hot that you can't touch it. This side is cooler touch the door the fire box door is pretty hot I mean what can you say this is an awesome style of cooker you can fit tons of food in it it fits hotel style pans so you can do macaroni and cheese or baked beans all your side dishes right up on the top while you've got your meat running underneath um, Obviously for competitions you can certainly do a butt on the bottom and a couple racks of ribs up top and use a Smoky Mountain for a brisket mm -hmm. or do a brisket on the bottom and this thing or two briskets and do your ribs on it, something. I mean this is a really cool cooker and I got it for a pretty good price guys with the Guru. Well let's have a look. I'm sure them ribs are ready to unwrap in sauce.
our sirloin's still got a ways to go. Definitely need some kind of drip pan under this thing. Guys, this thing is just run absolutely flawless. Chickens are getting real close. I mean, just absolutely flawless, guys. It regains temperature after having the door open in just absolutely no time flat. I'm going to give it, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Them chickens will be ready. 10, 15 minutes, we'll throw that corn on. Looks like the sirloin tip has a little while to go. I might put it down on the bottom rack, unwrap the ribs, and sauce them up. We'll see you then. Just checked our ribs and all, or sauced our ribs and checked our chickens. They're real close. This is what the firebox looks like. We still have plenty of coal in there. You can see we have a nice hot fire. And we've been running for probably five hours now, and I only filled the firebox halfway, if that. Get these ribs off of here. Now, one thing I really do believe in when it comes to ribs is right as I'm ready to take them off, a quick spritz of the apple juice. Now, see how shiny. That made them high gloss. A fresh paint job. Now, sorry for reaching in front of you guys. I'm going to go ahead and check this roast. It's getting close. It says about 128 ish so I think I'm just gonna stick it right down there slide that back in and I'm actually gonna go ahead and stick my corn down there and they're just two little veal chops or lamb chops that we had lamb chops that we had they're just sitting on there. I'm just going to leave them alone. They're nearly ready. The whole thing will be ready in 10 minutes. All right, guys, as you can see, dinner looks amazing. The Humphreys Battle Box performed flawlessly. I'm going to do a quick video talking about that and what I think of that. Totally in love. But there's a few things I think about it. I'll do that one day during the week, just a talking video. Guys, I'm going to get dinner in everybody, it's getting late, I'm not even going to do a taste test because it was nothing special, it was just more a test of the cooker. It performed flawlessly. And from my dumb marvelous land to you, if you have a chance to buy a vertical smoker like that, buy yourself one. Good night folks.